A very special patch of pumpkins is bringing a ghoulish glow to the Meadowlands Exposition Center. For the first time in the Garden State, Rise of the Jack-O-Lanterns is setting up shop to show Halloween lovers how creative carvers can be. We just want to see how far we can take pumpkins, um, see what we can do with them and how much uh, we can kind of expand and grow our company. Um, we change every single year with what we're carving and what we build. It takes over 50 artists to carve the 5,000 pumpkins that are here on display. And those pumpkins include art pumpkins, pumpkin structures, and your classic jack-o'-lanterns. The subject matter runs the gamut. Horror films, favorite childhood characters, a towering T-Rex, and perhaps scariest of all, politics. It can take upwards of 16 hours to carve one of these pumpkins, and they won't last forever. But don't worry, the artwork will stay fresh through the event's close on Sunday. We take uh, a lot of measures. Um, cold is one thing that we like, so we keep the building very cold to make them last long. Some of the pumpkins are sprayed with a mixture of 50% water and 50% rubbing alcohol, too. Live carvers like Ian Rattray are on hand to demonstrate their techniques and offer advice. Rattray says rule number one is don't actually cut through the pumpkin. Pumpkins, when they're gutted, they have a shelf life of four to five days, and uh, we want to get the most out of these pumpkins. I mean, we pour hours and hours of work into these pumpkins. The last thing we want to do is see them go. But he says that's bound to happen, so they can't get too attached, no matter how amazing the end product. It blows me away when I see these photorealistic uh, paintings and these super high contrasted comic books and uh, everyone has their own style and we, we try and put that into each pumpkin. Rise of the Jack-O-Lanterns tickets are sold in advance only and it's a family friendly event so no need to worry about spooking the kids. In fact, a gang of well-known trick-or-treaters have their own special section in the Expo Center celebrating the 50th anniversary of It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Wishing you a happy Halloween from Secaucus, I'm Maddie Orton, NJTV News.